Well, here we are out again, just going for a little walk into Yeovil and uh, have a look to see what's happening around the town of Yeovil. And uh, we just stopped here because um, some little hanging cups and saucers. We have a look and uh, somebody's placed some cups and saucers uh, just hanging from a tree, hanging from the fence here and they've got seeds in there to feed the birds. What a really nice idea. Anyway, we're going to have a walk down by the sea. By the sea. <laughs> we're just going to have a little walk down here now. There's actually um, a little brook just down there. We can't see the water in it yet, but I, we can hear it. I think as we go a little bit further down, we can do. We can actually see it. So we're, we're in England, we're in the UK, we got here okay, and uh, I got here okay. Well, yeah, so I was uh, due to have my uh, day two test, and uh, we went along to the Asda car park on the Monday morning, which uh, was my day two, and uh, went along for my test, and when I got there, the man said, you're not on the list. So got out my phone and showed him my booking. He said, this was for yesterday. <laughs> I got the date wrong. It's a good job it wasn't me. <laughs> so yes, I got the date wrong, but um, he said you'll, uh, you'll actually be registered as a no-show. Um, but you do the test anyway. So I did the test. And this morning I, I had a, a message to say that the test had been received, it was being analyzed and then shortly afterwards received uh, another message to say that uh, I was negative. So and it was less than 24 hours, did you say? Yeah, so really quite impressed. That was with Eurofins and it was a PCR test and uh, you no longer need to have the PCR test. If you're flying from Mallorca to, to the UK, you only need to have a, a lateral flow test, which is a little cheaper. Though I did see somewhere, someone was saying that you can get very cheap PCR tests now, but uh, I'm not really sure that's correct. So um, I haven't checked that. The lateral flow tests should be cheaper. I don't think they, they don't seem to be a lot cheaper, but uh, that's every little counts, as some uh, advertising slogan says. So that's one relief. Um, Nobody has contacted me yet from Test and Trace, so that's another relief. Uh, that was one of my concerns, was that the track and tracing people, or tracing and tracking people would, uh, how long, would contact how me. How long can they get in touch with you? I don't know. I guess they could contact me at any point, really, and just say, look, you've come into contact with someone. I don't have any apps because we don't live in the UK, so I wouldn't have the NHS uh, tracking up anyway. It's really if it could come from the, the aeroplane and the aeroplane I was on was ramp packed full. So uh, I suppose there's a reasonable chance that somebody on there could have uh, tested positive. That doesn't appear to have happened so far, so I'm happily walking the streets, listening to the birds sing and uh, we're on our way into Yeovil. In the beautiful autumnal countryside. It is, all the, the leaves are beginning to change colour now. Uh, still got some green leaves but as we've uh, wandered around we've seen lots of lovely uh, autumnal colours, the sort of the browns and reds almost. Uh, hopefully we'll see some as we walk in. And uh, the main reason, obviously, for us to come to the UK was to see our new granddaughter and for all of the family to get together. It only happened very briefly. Um, so we all went out for Sunday lunch. And... Uh, 15 of us all together now, which includes seven grandchildren. 
it was really nice to to be all together we didn't manage yet again we didn't manage to get a photograph of all 15 of us um, at the same time but we did get one really important photograph and that's the photograph with Anita and I with all seven grandchildren and uh, that's one to treasure so I might actually include that in the video so so you can all have a look at uh, Anita and I with our seven grandchildren just going to wander across the road because this is where the brook we said earlier comes and you just have a look down there you can see there is some nice flowing water there it looks nice and clean and this is this is nature this is nature where it's totally natural here where you've got the water running through and all the different plants growing beautiful so we walk down a little bit further it's a really nice path <clears throat> that we're going on now uh, into Yeovil and it uh, actually goes along the airfield you probably didn't realize there was an airfield in Yeovil but there is uh, belongs to Leonardo's uh, Leonardo's used to be Westlands not taken over and it's uh, where they make helicopters and so it's uh, it's not really for aeroplanes in fact there's not really a runway there as such uh, just uh, a place for the helicopters to take off and land and so far we've not heard any so it's been very quiet but in their busy times there can be lots of helicopters taking off and landing I know you can't smell it, but it smells autumnal as well. Damp. <laughs> damp, yeah, I suppose that's right. It is a little bit damp underfoot. And we're seeing a few leaves. I need to hear a helicopter. No, a helicopter's coming down from the trees. Oh, sorry. sorry. The helicopters are coming down <laughs> from the trees, so yes. So we look here. Ready to fall, to scatter their seeds. Grow some new trees. And I just like to walk by the running water. It's uh, just a nice sound. Don't you want to go to the toilet? <laughs> oh, trust you to bring that up. So, Westland. Leonardo have some playing fields here and quite a, a large leisure centre. And this is actually Yeovil Cricket Club next to the leisure centre. It's uh, not cricket time of year. The grass is looking good there. found another path to walk along where it's nice and quiet, no cars, no traffic, just trees, a little bit of countryside and the occasional walker who's on the same path as us. This is Yeovil Cricket Club here, just to our left as we're walking down the path. I imagine that's quite pleasant on a, a weekend in the summer. Nothing much happening there today. Just going up to a little bridge over our brook. It's actually so overgrown you can't see the the water down below. And this is the the Westlands Leisure Centre. 
We've actually only ever walked in there, we've not actually... I've been in. Have you been in? What, what have you been in there for? I've been in just to have a look. Uh, there's a coffee, yeah, there's a little coffee bar in there. But other things as well, it's very nice. And uh, it retains the, the Westlands name. And right across and it has noticed some beautiful berries on this tree. Really bright red and the leaves, they're almost the same colour. Really beautiful. So it's pause for photo time. Just paused for a photo and Anita's taking a photo. She sends that to me, I might even include that. There you go. Let's see. So it must be very busy at this uh, Westland Entertainment and Conference Centre. Because there's lots of car parked cars here, lots of cars parked in the area. And just beyond the, that, the other side is where the the Westlands or should I say Leonardo's is and where we sometimes go to see the helicopters take off. Busy car park. Meters busily sending off the photograph to all all and sundry. There's something going on because there's a People who are, I don't know, in yellow high vis jackets. I'm not sure what's going on up there. What are you going to see? This is going to investigate. Do you want to go and ask the man, see what's going on, see if it's for us or not for us? Here's us thinking it's something <laughs> exciting. And it's a Covid centre. Go and get yourself tested. Now, I did that the other day. And I'm negative, so I don't need another test. Look at this amazing tree. Another amazing tree, and he's just pointing out just in front of us there. Somebody tell us what it is. Is it a weeping willow? Certainly weeping. Quite surprising how many people are actually going down there to be tested. Yeah. Although it's. Uh, it's still quite rife in this part of the country, you know, in the southwest of England, and uh, the numbers seem to be quite high here. Just see that the the brook has changed sides now, and uh, the water, little waterfall there. Oh, it's like a body in there. I think it's a body. There is something down there, but I don't think it's a body deer. I've been watching too many of those um, programmes on the TV. Hollington Drive started <laughs> last night. But isn't this just a beautiful walk? Just And it has got lighting. <laughs> There's a street light on here. Uh, so people use this in the evenings as well. But for us, just to walk down to the town, it's really really pleasant and it's not raining now the weather forecast is actually it's going to be quite warm today um, up to about 17 degrees Celsius I think it's about 15 at the moment uh, so it's not cold at all so, and it is all wrapped up because she thinks because we're in England it has to be cold um, take my gloves off because <laughs> you don't need them Everything's very damp and so lots of the, the weeds are growing and lots of nettles along here, stinging nettles, which I, I tell the children at school about and they're less familiar with them in Mallorca because it's not damp enough so that they don't, they don't really see the, the nettles. There's there. The remains of. Now the trees above us are quite dense, all the branches making it really quite, quite dark, but beautiful. It is a lovely walk this, isn't it? Popular with the 
dog owners, they don't have to worry about traffic. You can safely bring your dogs for a walk along here. Lots of places for them to investigate. So we could go straight on, but we're actually going to turn right. And go up here. Because this actually takes us right close to the airfield, so if there are any helicopters preparing to take off, I know we might be able to see them. We have it on good authority that there are some due to fly this week. Uh, but uh, it's a matter of getting the times right. We've walked along here and uh, seen people with their telephoto lenses uh, ready to take photographs and they spend hours upon hours waiting for the, the helicopters to take off. A lot of the helicopters here are military, so uh, helicopters destined for the Royal Navy. Uh, they, they begin their life here and then they get shipped out to uh, different air stations or, or to ships. We're just coming up to the, the airfield now and uh, it's all fenced off of course. And there we are just to our right now. And in the distance, distance, can actually see a helicopter or two, but nothing's taking off over to the right there. We've got the COVID testing station. Should we need it? I don't think we will. It's going back to Mallorca. We don't need to have any tests uh, because we've been double jabbed. So it's, uh, it's just filling in the health form which is similar to the passenger locator form that you fill in when you come back, when we came back to England. So it's just called the health form. Fill it in and we should be okay. We've got a few more days here yet and uh, might be going to some different places. Birds out there. Crows. Crows are, yeah, black crows. And that's actually the runway, if you would like to call it a runway. Oh, two helicopters, aren't And uh, there is a little bit of controversy at the moment here in Yeovil because uh, Westland Leonardo's want to put a, a proper runway, uh, which would help them with their um, takeoffs and landings. And the local community are not really very keen on having a, another a proper runway. Uh, I think it might mean more noise. But you've got to think, um, it might help to keep jobs here in, in Yeovil. And uh, we all know how difficult it is with jobs at the moment. So we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, we'll be obviously coming back to Yeovil over the next months and years and uh, we'll see if we do get a wrong way over there. So this is actually one of the areas where we often see the photographers. There's none out yet today. Uh, so whether anything will be going off later on, I don't know. It does sound as though something's warming up. We're not going to wait. Here. But we're not going to wait. And he says, we're not going to wait. And uh, here we are now uh, getting towards the residential parts now. So we're going to be leaving the footpath and going into, t into the town. And uh, when we get there, we'll make another little video uh, of the Yeovil high street as it were I'm not sure it's called the high street but uh, the main there is a main road that runs down the center where where the shops are um, I haven't been there for quite a while uh, since the since August so 
It'll be interesting to see what the difference is. So thank you very much for watching and uh, if you want to watch the, uh, the town of Yeovil you need to tune in to the next little video. So bye for now. Bye. Bye.